Hello, I'm Mark Bowers from BowersPhotography.com from Utah, and we're going to talk about uh, forensic photography. Um, I'd like to um, tell you that forensic photography is all about light, where you place it, how you place it, and the types of light. The light is absolutely the most important thing in forensic uh, photography. I'd like to do a little demonstration. Just uh, grab a hair from my head, and uh, it's right here. We've got a dark background and a dark floor and we're just going to put the hair right on the floor right here. What I'm going to do is uh, take a, a little spotlight and a friend of mine has the most powerful um, flashlight that he can buy to do the same thing. But I bring this little spotlight around. Can you see the spotlight? And I took it over to the side and all of a sudden that hair comes up. Can you see that now? This is the way that you find things um, on dark floors. You can find little tiny, tiny par particles and you can photograph these things right in place. Forensic photography is all about being very, very precise. Uh, a lot of forensic photographers use uh, really nice rulers and they use this to show relationships in sizes between what you're trying to photograph and, and exactly how big it is with footprints or, or tire um, tracks. The next project, uh, or the next thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, the ring flash. There's a flash that you can put on your camera and it's a ring around the lens of your camera. It shows no shadows. Uh, that is used for positioning. When you want to photograph something that is in a precise position and you don't want to show texture, you just want to show positioning, uh, you use this ring flash where there's no shadows around it.